Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the black and white process. So sometimes you need to make your photographs in a black and white and uh, which should be the artistic one. So you are getting here the process the creative one to make your photographs in a black and white process. So here I used a stock image uh, and I'll provide you that download link in the video description. And after that what I have done, I just uh, used a preset which was like a normal preset and here I use a preset uh, from which I made it earlier and after that I used a black and white from the adjustment layer and then used a curve for adding the matte look and used a photo filter to get this one like that and after that I got this result and then I used a filter from the Nick collection and then I got this artistic look in black and white photos so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications just closing it out and go to the file and open up here the stock image and then just press ctrl j you're getting a copy of the layer and go to the filter and camera filter you know camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop of the creative cloud version by default and if for the user of the cs version you have to download this one manually and set it up manually so please check out my video description for the manual download link or manual setup download link so go to the load settings options and i just added a preset like that and hit the ok button before that we can discuss this one just because of this preset just made your photographs 90 percent of the black and white just because uh, shadow highlighting and other stuff just added over there so here the exposure plus uh, 0.55 and the 32 for the contrast and highlight that is minus 100 and shadow plus 56 and 23 for the white and the blacks plus 29 and 17 for the clarity and vibrance that is 19 and saturation 19 minus 19 so this one is the combination of this and other thing like that i didn't use the other stuffs like here hue saturation red orange and yellow that is the hue i made the 55 minus 16 and 41 so i made it like uh, the color which one is not like um, natural or like uh, as usual i made it like minus for the like pinkish look and here i made it brown and yellow in you know, a orange here so aqua i made it like that blues like that and purple that is zero and saturation i made the saturation yellow green and aqua purple and blues in a like a minus value just because of i just reduce color from here and the luminance i made the luminance down which is uh, red orange yellow and green and then the split toning this one is the main thing uh, in these photographs so you know the split toning is a highlight color and the shadow color of the photo so here you are getting the highlight color by defining the hue and the saturation that define the percentage of the color and hue of the shadow color that is 266 and the saturation 3 only and no lens correction issues and effects i add some vignetting that is minus 30 and camera calibration which is like three primary colors red green and blue so red hue that is 56 and the saturation made it minus 73 and the hue of the green primary minus 68 the saturation plus 64 and the hue of the blue primary minus 60 and saturation 7 and hit ok don't be worried about this preset i'll provide this preset in my video description in the download link so please check on my video description after that the main thing is that go to the adjustment layer and you're getting over here the black and white by default so that's it and you're getting this look so you don't need to adjust anything here just because of i added a preset and i adjust all the things over there and then go to the adjustment layer and go to the here the photo filter so you can use like a blue type photo filter which is like yeah blind type black and white and like that so i'll provide you the color code if you want so here is the color code i'm just copying this one and saving these things or color code in notepad i'll provide you that color code in my video description and after that select these three things and make it group and make it merge so you're getting the black and white photo 
found the colorful photo and after that I'll go to the adjustment and go to the curves so from curves I'll add some matte look so how to do that here I would lock like that and I'll just make it up these things and I'll make this one if you need you can add some lights if you make it in upper set it will be more lighter so I I won't touch other colors just because of this one is black and white so after that select these two things again and make it group and make it merge like that now I'll add a filter from the Nick collection you know Nick collection is another plugins of the Photoshop if you want to get the download link of the Nick collection please check out my video description so here filter Nick collection and color effects proof for so Nick collection is bunch of preset actually you are getting many kinds of preset or filters over there you can use that things and you you can make your photograph to next level so from here i am using the cross processing from here and lots of method over there which one is perfect for your photographs i don't know want to experiment with that you can do that so in this case i'll use this one l02 and you can just i'll adjust these things that is the strength how strong will be the effect or the filter it will define with the strength percentage you can make it upper if you make it like that it will be more like percentage that means this one is the opposite of the um, uh, filter so with the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the output which is gorgeous yeah that's fine this one is the output final output before one and after one you're getting artistic look in your photographs if you want to get the artistic look of uh, the black and white or uh, art of the black and white if you want to get these type of things you can follow this way so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and most amazing things are coming next until the next video i'm asmr signing out today bye bye